Press Radio News. I'm Lowell Harris. Ladies and gentlemen, not in all my 15 years of doing the news have I ever had to report on such a horrific story, nor have I been privy to just the extent of some men's evil. But it is my duty to tell you that, upon liberating a Nazi prison camp in Auschwitz, Poland, Russian soldiers discovered mass graves as far as the eye can see. It is estimated that these graves contain the remains of thousands upon thousands of the Third Reich's prisoners. Prisoners who likely succumbed to the same malnourishment and mistreatment that was endured by the survivors. More on this tragic revelation as it unfolds. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Tommy, can I bum a smoke? Sure, here, have a big break cigarette. All right. <sighs> wow, these big break whites sure are light. Thanks a bunch. No problem, Marty. No problem is right, not with these big break whites. Big break filter cigarettes. Rich reds, light whites, and smooth blues. Take a break from it all.
the east side to the west side, uptown to downtown, it's Empire Central Radio, ECNR. Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. Malta, Italy was the planning ground for what is expected to be the final invasion of Germany. President Roosevelt has concluded his secret meeting with British Prime Minister Winston Churchill to draw up plans for a final offensive against Hitler's army. Not known is why Soviet leader Joseph Stalin was not present. Rumors are swirling that the Soviets may not be invited to participate in the rebuilding process. Either that, or they don't have good vodka in Malta. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris.
your milk, Danny. I drink it every day with my cookies. That's right. And it's going to give you strong bones. Hey, fellas. Hey. When you grow hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. Just like He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And I read up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh... You're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's what Henry's you said at... the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. See you later.
Yeah, what's up? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Okay, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... I was crawling over the fence on the way back. I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for.
You've got it on Delta Radio. Jazz and more. Guaranteed not to bore. Delta Radio. EDLT. Empire Bay. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Here, we buy you a ticket? Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, he sent me to America and got me a job working for Clemente. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on. They got All right, guns. showtime. They got guns up there in that window. That's him, Vito. Waste that fat fuck. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going to get over here. My sister! <laughs> Move it, Vito! We can't let that fat bastard get away! Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, yeah, come we'll cover for you. you, Porky! Back me up, Vito. All right, Vito, here we go. All right, Vito, go, go, go. Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. Beat up! 
Come on, huh? We gotta move. Sister. upstairs I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh, oh yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of the a place. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay. you idiot. Get easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, oh, Marano, you're heavier than you look. Fat fuck. I'm gonna shut my balls off. Take it easy. You missed him by a mile. Hey, careful! This fucking hurts. No. Yeah, well, you can Please. walk if you don't. I don't want to die. Hey, you're right. I don't need to this. Oh, you need that to fuck. Ah, uh, this whole fucking place is coming apart. Come 
gotta do better than that, Kenny. Not hurt. Fire spread. <coughs> oh, damn. Go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. Doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I seen that in a movie once. Yeah. And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. Nah. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. This thing going any faster? Going as fast as Infantry I can. Infantry suspect. We're well, taking him down. fast enough. Just relax, would you? Copy that. a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Hey, Vito, <coughs> step on. And we sweat like a whore in church back here. You know what would make me drive faster? You start as So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy, taking Henry. El Greco? He's a doctor. From a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. <sighs> 
Meet me at my place. <clears throat> All right. Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, Where'd take... you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. Alright, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. Alright. Give her a big kiss from I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Hey, Pally, what's going on? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. Had everything. Thank you. See ya!
ABC LA, Empire Classic Radio News. From Empire Bay to the world, I'm Bob Barrowman with an update on past week's robbery at the Office of Price Administration. Police are said to be looking for a dark-haired man of medium build and height who was last seen selling gas ration stamps at service stations across the city. Police are appealing to citizens for more information. Perhaps you saw this man at your local service station. Think hard, and maybe you can help apprehend this criminal. With such a vague description, Empire Bay's finest need all the help they can get. I'm Bob Barrowman for Empire Classic Radio. Looking good. Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. I'm just doing this part-time. What I really want to do is act. You know, like, on a radio. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be a voice actor? Come on. Anything else I can do for you? Thank you. Come back anytime. Delta Radio. I'm Walt Williams. As we check the news, the Price Administration robbery story has some new developments. Police are very interested in talking to a medium build, medium height, dark haired man who's been linked to the crime by several eyewitnesses. If you have any information on this person, contact the authorities immediately. Well, that description could be me. <laughs> oh, they're going to need all the help they can get. For EDLT, this is Walt Williams. Thank <laughs> you. 
Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. A surprise attack on Allied Air Forces made for a deadly reprisal during Operation Bodenplatt just over a month ago. German Luftwaffe planes surged in early morning to the surprise of Allied forces in France, Belgium, and Holland. 200 Allied aircraft were destroyed, and another 150 were damaged before Allied fighter pilots took to the skies to exact swift retribution. When the smoke cleared, almost 300 of the Kaiser's flying brigade were destroyed, with an estimated 200 German pilots killed, 20 of whom were formation leaders. For Press Radio News, I'm Lowell Harris. All across the globe, world events are happening at record pace. From the war overseas to the yard sale next door, nobody delivers the news faster than the Empire Times. Our top drawer reporters work at breakneck speeds to get you the late-breaking news as early as possible. So get your Times hot off the presses.
Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Schitt's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the Feds knew and about I any of my other activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, and we're all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Son of a bitch! Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no, back please. in line. No. no. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you didn't! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, 
Shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. I'm looking for Leo Galante. A hey, buddy. Beat it. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? I got your Leo Galante right here, bitch. Uh, they don't seem too friendly. The war. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Go bother somebody else. He's in the hall. Again? Yep. What do you do this time? To us. Soul stone to go and fuck themselves. Set us up. And a couple of sandwiches short of a picnic. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Why am I? But what? Ming make you deal. You teach Ming basketball. Ming teach you kung fu. All right, you got a deal, motherfucker. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I. Pay you back! This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? I'm Pick gonna break you, Diggle! Come on, you yeah. retard! You and your boyfriend Barbara are dead! This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved a potato up your mother's ass. Yeah. Oh, I ate skinny little faggots like you for breakfast. You eat faggots for breakfast? Yeah, 
We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. You could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. When I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. 